In this video, I will show you how to fix sorry, installation failed upgrade needed to processor with advanced vector extensions 2, AVX2, support required for Adobe applications. Are you tired of receiving the frustrating error message sorry, installation failed upgrade needed to processor with advanced vector extensions 2, AVX2, support required for Adobe applications every time you try to install or update your Adobe software? This common issue can be frustrating, especially when you're in the middle of a critical project. In this guide, we'll walk you through the steps to fix this error and get your Adobe apps up and running smoothly again. So let's try. Currently, I'm going to install an Adobe application. And I've encountered this kind of error message. If you're facing the exact same error message, then you can follow me to fix the issue. In the error message said, you need to upgrade your system to install this product. Ensure your processor supports Advanced Vector Extensions 2, AVX2. So the question is, what is Advanced Vector Extensions 2, AVX2, where is it located, and where is it used? Advanced Vector Extensions 2, AVX2, is a CPU instruction set that boosts performance for complex computations and data processing. It is integrated into the processor's architecture. AVX2 is used in applications requiring intensive calculations, such as scientific simulations, video editing, data analysis, and machine learning by improving vector operations. All right. Currently, I'm using a third-gen Intel Core i7 processor. Let's do a web search to check if this processor has AVX2. This is my processor's model number. You can search using your processor's model number if you want to check for yourself. This processor has AVX's first version as far as possible. Let's check which version of AVX is used in modern processors. This is a 14th generation Intel Core i7 processor. It uses the AVX2 version. This time, I will quit the installation. Now, I'll locate a file named application.json in the Applications Installer folder. Open the application.json file with Notepad. All right, now click on the Edit menu and Replace. In the Find What section type AVX2. If you click on Find Next, we will see that there are many AVX2 texts. We need to change the text from AVX2 to AVX. For this, we need to type AVX in the replace with box. Now tap on the replace all button. 
Let's see if the text has really been changed. Not being able to find it means that it has changed correctly. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Then we will save the text from the file menu. Now let's install it. and it's installed successfully. Remember that these solutions may not work for everyone, and the best solution depends on your specific situation. If you're experiencing the same issues, then the problem will be solved. And that's the end of the today's video. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more great content. For more help, come join our group. Any more questions? Drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching.